Hi everybody, this is Russ. I'm the DC guy here at comicbook.com and I'm here with Shay Fontana who is the writer of DC Superhero Girls. Thanks um, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the last time we spoke was actually right before Free Comic Book Day. Yes. Um, how, has, how has it been finally getting the book into the hands of people and seeing the response to Superhero Girls? Oh, it's been so exciting to be out there and do the signings at the different comic book shops and actually see the little girls coming in in their Poison Ivy costumes or their Wonder Woman costumes. And they know the girls now and they know the brand and they love these girls being shown as superheroes in their world. Well, and that, one of the big things that happened early on in this, probably before the book even came out, was this idea that, you know, after years of being told that superheroes don't sell to women, uh, that the brand crossed like something like a, a billion dollars within a, a month or something crazy? Um, yes, it was a huge hit right out of the gate. So I know when they were first on shelves exclusively in Target, the toys sold out within days. So it was really exciting to see how, you know, it has been all these years people say, you know, we don't know if they're these superheroes will sell to little girls. Girls don't know who these characters are. And then to see this massive response from the girls who have been so hungry for this kind of content. Now, you have the second trade paperback coming up very soon. And I, I'm losing my schedule, but uh, when, when's it coming up? It is out November 1st. It's called Hits and Myths, and it's all about our girls. They're taking a poetry class at Superhero High, taught by Professor Etrigan, who is our rhyming demon. And they're learning about the Odyssey. So through that, they have this Odyssey-inspired journey led by Wonder Woman, and they meet some sirens, including Black Canary. Um, they face off with the Cyclops, and they go to the underworld to save their professor from Trigon. Now, one, I, I spoke earlier with Marguerite about DC Bombshells, and one of the things that's so much fun about that is that you feel like the world is really complete and fully realized, and then you realize, like, holy cow, there's this whole other wing that she's adding in. Uh, is it fun for you to sometimes just excavate, like, oh, here's a half dozen new characters we can put into this story? Yeah, it's been really exciting to just have this huge width of characters that we've brought in. It's just. It, Right now, I think there's something like 75 characters that we've used by name in the content that we've written. So it's really fun to get to know all these characters and really fun to work with some of the more obscure characters. Like um, in our digital release comic that we're doing, we have Liberty Bell as our history teacher. And in the Hits and Myths, we have Professor Etrigan as the poetry teacher. So it's fun to kind of pull out some of those more obscure characters and get to ha let them have their moment in the spotlight. Now, uh, with, with the first trade paperback, it was called Finals Crisis. Do you feel like you kind of blew one of the best puns right out of the gate, or are you gonna, <laughs> you gonna come up with another one of those? Well, we did, I can't take credit for the Finals Crisis pun. That was Mike Carlin at DC, who's been at DC forever editing, um, who came up with that. So it was just a great title out of the, out of the just out of the gate having that as a title. It's really fun to kind of have this nod to the classic comic book people who know the DC canon and do a total twist on it. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it.